Hi, I'm Josh, and this is Cars and Joshy. Welcome to Cars and Joshy. Today I'm going to be pulling off some stuff to go on my new throttle body. Basically the uh, idle air control and the throttle position sensor. So I'm going to get that taken off, and then I'm going to be working on the fuel rail and fuel injectors for the LSA. But first, make sure you like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Thank you for watching Cars and Joshy. Alright, I already pulled idle air control valve out, and now I'm just going to grab the throttle position sensor. Okay, I'm just going to clean this up. I've got some soap and water basically. I'm just going to clean this piece here. Good enough. These are the bolts that came with the Motion Raceworks throttle body. Now that we got the holes on the throttle body plugged up, time to plug up the last remaining holes that can have something dropped into and break my engine when I fire it up for the first time and that's the injector holes so uh, when I bought my LSA I got the injectors with them and you know the fuel rail and so what I did is I didn't want to spend a thousand dollars on fuel injectors I went with a uh, fuel injector connection and what they did is they took the stock LSA injectors and resized them went up to uh, 95 pound injectors and they give you a flow rate test sheet and everything so they're all good so I'm gonna go ahead and put the injectors in put the fuel rail on the blower A couple of my rags were missing on this side, so I'm going to get my bore scope and just make sure they fell out and not down. Good, they fell out. I use dish soap on these for lube. Plenty far away from the rail. Forgot about this piece. I'll go ahead and get this put in. It's just a temp sensor. One more thing from Motion Raceworks that I can put on here, and this is their steam vent kit, the four port steam vent kit. So, I'll try to get this put on. I'm gonna go ahead and cut open this steam vent kit here from Motion Raceworks. Got everything labeled. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna put some Teflon tape on these. Go plug these in. This kit comes with 
four little metal gaskets that go up underneath these steam port blocks. And on one side of the gasket, there's a rubber seal. And that seal goes over the nipple that goes into the steam port. So the bolts that come with the Motion Raceworks kit, I don't think is gonna work because of my 5 8 thick adapter or lid spacer. So I think I'm gonna have to reuse these. All right, so that's all I have for this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for new videos. Thanks for watching Cars and Joshy. Josh out.